Well, that was such a totally powerful talk, right? You can you can just feel like, wow, now let's 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 get up and go and 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 change the world and 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 knowing we can do it, right? That's that's really what what um, when I listen to that kind of talk, I feel completely excited and and. And then, when I look at my experience and I look out here to, the, to everyone who's sitting here and to the communities around the world, then I know it's, it's happening. And it's happening right here. And that's really, that's what's so totally exciting when we just hear words like, it is up to us. And we can take responsibility. <laughs> and we can take, we can, we can step up for our power. Then we know it's true because something is totally exciting about it. Like we sit there and, 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 and I just want to listen forever for these totally empowering words because something rings totally true there, right? And then I can't hear enough. I just want to hear more and more and more. And, and that's, that's when we hear it's open intelligence and that power is our most basic right. It is right and it's civil. She said the most civil right. And it's, that's a, and again, that, that rings so true. And it's like that. And we want to step up for that. We want to totally step up for that. And, and then having that empowerment of the four mainstays in the Balanced View Training to show that that is simple, that it's not something complicated. Because, I mean, I was just used to thinking, wow, the whole world and what, where is it at? And you just click the news and, and it, it feels sad and it feels angry and it feels what, whatever it feels, but it doesn't feel good and it feels like helpless. Like how? How? And when I came to the training and I just, I used to form mainstays. <laughs> That's what I did. And, and could see that and I could see the results in myself. And then I could understand, and I understood totally what it means that each short moment contributes to peace. When you hear that first, is how, how is that possible? But then you, you see, every short moment I take, I recognize that power in myself. And even if it, everything rages, like not trying to get into a state of peace or trying to push away or replace data, no, it's letting everything be as it is and feel that beneficial energy, total beneficial energy. We just have mis misunderstood all, all that energy, all that data. That's why it's so powerful to keep it so simple. Open intelligence and data, they're inseparable, like the color blue in the sky. Inseparable, like the rainbow in the sky. You can't really put it apart and then then you are introduced to your power and know it's right there. It's not when you go out of the room or when you, tomorrow, or when you're a better person or when you look differently or when you, when you finally have the good thoughts, it's right here. And that is very empowering that we don't have to wait for something like us to change, to be fixed, or another human being an authority, they, we had that yesterday in the text, they, they will do it. And they don't do it, they, that's their fault. And then we sit totally there in, in complete helplessness and, and, and anger and blame and, and seeing that whole dynamic, seeing that didn't work, that didn't, didn't go anywhere. And, and then we hear that empowering words, it rings so true and we know, okay, we can do it. To say that I, I, I can do it, to say that and to see in your experience that that is true for everyone equally, everyone equally open intelligence power. Like there's no one left out. Finally, there's somebody saying what we actually always felt true. Why should be some people this better or, and some not? Why should they and we and I, I'm less? So all that, that, so you can see the, the balance of your training, a complete empowerment of our strengths, gifts, and talents, and seeing that we can take responsibility. We can take total responsibility for, for all our data and for what is going on in the world. First, but it's an inside job. First to see um, 
if we war in ourselves, like with all the data, you're not good enough, you're this and that, and then it's a whole war going on, then you can see how that plays out everywhere. Now, every short moment is empowerment, is total letting everything be as it is, is seeing the nature of all these data, is correcting this misperception of thinking that we are limited to descriptions and can only operate from that, because then it's totally limiting. You have a you, you choose an array of description, that's what you define yourself. Everybody has their own box of descriptions. And then just, just think about those. What are your box of descriptions? And then that's it. Like, it's, it's like really stuck into some kind of... But then what is really there? When you recognize the nature of all these descriptions, what is, then you can see what it is. Then you see the beneficial potency. Then you see, oh wow, I can let everything be as it is and, and recognize the nature, the fundamental essence, the power, and everything as it is. Then you see what unites us completely. Because otherwise we just see the differences. They are like this, this culture is like this, or, or alone in yourself. Today I'm like this, tomorrow I'm like that. How can you ever get that together? <laughs> right? So, and then between people, in, in organizations, businesses, in families, and um, intimate relationship, and in, with children, with every, and then countries. Groups of people that have different beliefs. So you can play it out and exactly see how it all, how it all works. When you look in your, when you're courageous enough, like we all are, we're totally courageous enough to, to, to see and to recognize the power in us, to step up for the power and see everything about us. That's what the empowerments do, the 12 empowerments, they are, they are an empowerment, right? <laughs> now it's empowerment 12 today. And um, recognizing everything about us as it is, as beneficial potency, as the aliveness of, of who you are, with all the strengths, gifts, and talents that come about, just by letting everything be as it is, this box of descriptions is powerful energy, powerful beneficial energy. It's like sky, it's vast like sky. Sky and sky, like a line drawn in water. You see how powerful you recognize in these metaphors exactly the power of, of, of your of yourself, just exactly as you are. And when I saw that, you know, all my limiting ideas, they just opened up and simply by the Four Mainstays <coughs> lifestyle, by the total commitment to that. At one point I saw relying on data does not work. It works here and there, relief, running after this and that. But to see that there's something fundamental about us that is totally reliable, stable <coughs> at all times, always accessible, empowering, then I thought, okay, well, I might as well rely on that. <laughs> and then, you know, that was a simple choice. And that choice gets confirmed by, by immersing myself into the four mainstays, testing that out. Everybody needs to test that out and see it for themselves, but what is very encouraging and inspiring is seeing everyone else doing it and listening to a talk like from Candice or from shares and talks from other trainers and, and, and our shares here where everybody shares how it is for them in their life and then we can relate and say, okay, well, I can do it too. And then to see it's up to us and it's not up to them. That's, it, it's incredible for me that's such fire, hearing like a talk like such fire wanting to be of benefit to all and knowing increasingly with confidence that I can do it and that we can do it, that people coming together and uniting into that power that doesn't matter what kind of beliefs we have and if I'm right or you're right. It's the benefit of all, that is the context. And working in teams where that is the context, where that, where that is the, 
the, the purpose of, of a team is to be of benefit to all, then everybody, then, then there's the group wisdom, then we listen to everybody, because we know everybody is totally empowered and amazing, and we know they're taking responsibility for their data. Well, that's the way how I work, and I, I, with people who rely on open intelligence, your example in any group is totally empowering and will have an effect that you never dreamt is, is possible. And you choose how you want to spend your life and time and, 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 sit to, and, and your actions. But you will have an effect and you see it in yourself and in others as well. Everybody has a voice and it's the group wisdom. And obviously that doesn't mean that we don't need leadership. That's also just another, another way of taking points of view to an extreme. <coughs> Saying everybody is, is equal and has... Um, the voice, yes, everybody is open intelligence and everybody is empowered and the group wisdom is how we, how we come to decisions just magically. And then there's still a leadership and balanced view that also ensures that the benefit of all is kept in all at all times. So sometimes de decisions are being made, but it's always in listening and what serves. Leadership serves, it doesn't govern. And so these principles as are the principles of benefit and service that are the context of this organization. And that is so powerful because we are empowered to have a voice, to see, to everything. Everybody is endowed in total wisdom and benefit. And that you directly experience by participating in the four mainstays. And that's how I did. I participated. I tested it out. I helped out because I felt moved to do so. And then to see, wow, I'm asked what I think. And I saw that decisions were made that were supportive. And so I could directly, actively experience what was spoken about and how I felt empowered. And th those are organizations we want to see alive. And we are empowered to create those uh, organizations and to inspire people to step up in the same way. And, we, and we'll find more and more means to do so. But the... It's, it's all here, it's all here, and, and, we, and our example is the most important. Like people will ask, what, what happened? <laughs> they see you shine, they see you be empowered, not, we, we not anymore need to hide at home. Mm. Making now an extreme, but like, you know, that's just how it feels sometimes, no? wanting to, to stay in bed. And even if you want to stay in bed and open intelligence is shining, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> so don't think you need to... You know, like, it could be exactly like that, but you, you'll remember when you're, when you're in bed like this and you'll remember open intelligence, the four mainstays, and maybe you click on a, um, a talk, well, then it opens up, and even if you don't go out of the house that day, that's fine too. And open intelligence beams with beneficial energy of wanting to hide. But see, people will notice exactly that. They'll see. They'll it's the transmission power without saying anything. And then if I, I share when, I, when people ask, or I refer to the website, or I always know what to do, how to share, and how to... How to but if people will, will see it. And then on a, on a, when we just look back 10 years ago, when Ken, or seven years ago when Kans went to India, there were just a couple of people. And look where it went communities all around the world stepping up to empower each other because it's so compelling. 